Hi everyone, my name's James Ivey with Antelope Audio. In recent videos, we've looked at some of the advanced routing, recording and processing options with the Antelope Audio Synergy Core effects using the Orion, Zen, Goliath and Galaxy ranges of Antelope Audio interfaces and their accompanying software control panels. This time, we're going to look at some of the advanced routing options using Synergy Core effects in real time with the Antelope Audio discrete range of interfaces. And I'm going to take you through some of the different recording chains that can give you more options when it comes to mixing and mastering your recordings. So with that, let's get to it. For this video, we're going to be using the Antelope Audio Discrete 8 Synergy Core interface connected to my MacBook Pro 2017 via Thunderbolt recording into Pro Tools. As we have said in previous videos, the Discrete 8 Synergy Core is designed around a 32 in and 32 out routing system. This does not mean the hardware has 32 channels of physical I.O. It actually has a combination of 8 analog, 16 ADAT optical and SPDIF. It means we have up to 32 channels of routing options for getting into and out of our interface and DAW. If this sounds complicated, bear with me and all will become clear. We're going to be adding a vocal to this acoustic guitar track, but I'm not yet sure of the processing I want to use. I'm recording the vocal with an Antelope Audio Edge Solo Large Diaphragm Modeling Condenser Microphone, which gives me the opportunity to change the model of the mic after the recording has taken place. So the first chain is going to be simple. The mic is plugged into channel 1 of the Discrete 8 interface, and I'm going to route this channel directly to the first input channel of my DAW. I'm routing directly from the console grade mic preamp of the Discrete 8 straight into my recording platform. This is my safety path. If all else fails, or I fall out of love with the processed vocal tone, but I love the take, I can always go back to a clean, naked take and start processing within my DAW. There are over 80 Synergy Core effects for me to choose from, including amazing sounding mic pre's, vintage EQ's, compressors and modulation effects. In the second slot, we're going to choose EMU or Emulation Mic 1 as our channel input. This means we can apply a mic model from the Antelope Mic Locker and commit this to the recording. We must remember that the mic is physically plugged into channel 1 on the interface, so the mic emulation must be selected from this channel, not the recording path channel. All of a sudden, you can see how our 8 mic pre's could become 16 or more inputs into our DAW. We can also apply Synergy Core effects to this channel in the slot 2 AFX path. Let's add a vintage mic pre like the VPA76. Let's also add an EQ. I love the MG4 Plus with its amazing Skyband. Now let's keep some control and add some vintage tone with the Opto 2A. The final recording path we're going to set up for this vocal take uses the Autotune Synergy plugin, which was co-developed by Antares and Antelope Audio. In slot 3 this time, we'll select Preamp 1. Then in slot 3 AFX path, we will choose Autotune Synergy and set it not to give us a hard pitch correction, but to give us that well-known Autotune tone and just a little pitch correction. If you want to see just how flexible Autotune Synergy really is, check out our video called Working with Autotune Synergy for a deep dive into this amazing processor. With modern computers being as powerful as they are, we could just not worry about hardware monitoring and monitor directly from the DAW. However, if we want to monitor with zero latency and monitor those lovely effects, we can easily set up a routing using the two dedicated headphone paths in the discrete control panel. I have my headphones plugged into headphone output 1 on the front of the discrete 8 and I can decide on the mix I want of the three recording chains and the return from the DAW in headphone 1 mixer. I can also, if I wish, assign a different set of outputs for the click in my DAW and have this appear as its own channels in the Antelope Audio mixer. So I never have to balance between the output of my DAW and the Antelope mixer. So we have three mono channels set to record in Pro Tools and we have a great sound in our headphones. Let's hit record and see what happens. I don't quite know how I feel But 
you have to go So I'm really happy with the take and we can now audition the three different tracks from our three different recording paths to start or continue processing to get us to the perfect mix for our production. I don't quite know how I feel but you have to go Why can't they see Why can't it be just like when we were friends It was supposed to be that way till the very end so I hope you enjoyed that and that you now feel confident to really dig in and get the most from your Antelope Audio Discrete Series interface. My name's James Ivey and I'll see you again very soon. <laughs>